wild right here. Devontae Frencher has the giant, the biggest reach advantage on the card tonight. And I wonder if this is going to play into the card. This bout is brought to you by KC Tech Systems, the team that specializes in custom home theater, smart home automation, and outdoor audio, video, and lighting. Fighting out of the blue corner, Ralph Hernandez! And fighting out of the red corner, Devontae Frencher! Let's make some noise! Our Emmy card continues, the bell in round number one. Tonight's fight clock is presented by Hoy Excavating. Black trunks for Ralph Hernandez, black and white trunks for Devontae Frencher. Hernandez and Frencher both have been in this octagon here at FAC multiple times. They both put on a show and they're both super powerful and strong. Big takedown off of the double leg, getting under the hips is Frencher. Now working out of the open half guard of Hernandez. Hernandez needs to clear his legs out. He, he's sitting there holding onto the head. He's got to either bail and put his knees to the ground to stand up or try to fight the jujitsu. And Frencher's doing a good job by controlling the hips, locking his hands behind the hips and pulling Hernandez close and tight. The butterfly sweep isn't really too much because it, it, the pressure that Frencher's putting on top is uh, preventing Hernandez from doing any sweeps. Frencher right now sitting in that half butterfly. Controlling the arms of Frencher. Frencher not able to base up and ground and pound. You see two short right hands. Frencher trying to clear his right arm. Frencher needs to do this as tripod up. This is gonna clear out that underhook or that it's gonna clear out that butterfly and it's gonna relieve the pressure to allow him to move left or right. Half butterfly again, a little deeper now for Hernandez. Looking for the sweep, can't find it. Good base up on the left knee from Frencher. You can hear the corner of Frencher telling him to posture up, which is very good. It's going to help prevent the, any type of triangle that's going to get thrown up or any type of off balance sweep that Hernandez is bringing into this. But again, we need Frencher to move left or right. It's going to help open up the hips of Hernandez, but Hernandez is doing a good job of controlling the hands of Frencher. Referee Zach Tybris being very patient. No calls for action, allowing the two fighters to work on the ground. And almost in what's called an Iranian in some circles in wrestling, the under. The kayfabe would be called a pile driver position, but escaped. Now taking the back is Ralph Hernandez. Big left hand. More big shots now from Hernandez, getting under the arm of Frencher. Hernandez is very intelligent by going after those punches. He knows that Devontae is a very difficult person to take down, so he mixed up the punches to throw him off, and it definitely threw Frencher for a different spin. Big takedown, Frencher right back to his feet. Now the transition after the punches, looking for the single leg, trying to go high crotch now around Fernandez. Hernandez sucking forward the knee, getting the takedown again. Hernandez trying to stay heavy. Frencher right back to his feet. 15 seconds remaining in a very good round number one. More left hands for Ralph Hernandez. Hernandez is doing a good job by keeping heavy on the power points of Frencher. See, Frencher, if he's leaning back, Hernandez is pulling back. If he's leaning forward, Hernandez is pushing forward. And this is keeping the balance of Hernandez on top of him very, very, very equal. And that's why it's difficult for Frencher to get off. That is the end of round number one. Get a reminder coming up. In just over one hour, 10 minutes from now, it is our main card, FAC7. Seven fights in total on our pro card, our main card this evening from just outside of Kansas City in Independence, Missouri. The only way to watch is on UFC Fight Pass. Again, we welcome all of you watching our prelims.
on MMAFutures.com and MMA Futures YouTube channel. This is a great round for both guys, you know. Uh, Frencher came out and got that takedown, did a really good job of controlling, but he needs to open up a little bit more when he's on top because as you saw, Hernandez, the moment he grabbed an inch, he took that for an entire mile throwing punches and dominating against the cage and against, you know, the scorecards on that one. Round number two. Looking again for the single leg. Trying to treetop, can't do it is Hernandez. Good bounce from Frencher. Now the far side ankle pick. That was slick by Hernandez. Hernandez has a really good pedigree of wrestling outside of MMA, and he's utilizing it right here, right now, in the best way possible. As you see, the term, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, he realizes that if he grabs around the waist of Frencher, he's able to control him majority of the round, and that's what he's doing. He's hanging on, not going for any too flashy. He's going there, collecting points, collecting stats. Look away punch, lands from Frencher. Hernandez continuing to bury his left knee into that left thigh of Frencher. Frencher needs to get one underhook somewhere, get his arm underneath, and try to pummel. He knows that the moment he does that, Hernandez is going to go down for a shot to go for the, the double leg, but he has to keep moving. If he doesn't try to fight his hands off, it's going to be very difficult to you know, break free and get anything going. Looking for a suplex, getting high, still getting the takedown is Hernandez, now trying to take the back with one hook in. Well done by Frencher getting back to his feet, again the knee to the thigh. Hernandez, limiting time, limiting space, back to the single leg. Now the separation. Frencher stepping forward. Switch of stances, switch right back from southpaw to orthodox from Frencher. Straight right hand, step in left, just misses from Hernandez. It looks right now, Hernandez has looked to be a little tired from the, all the wrestling exchanges. It takes a lot of energy out of you to try to wrestle someone, especially on the cage, especially someone as relentless as Frencher. And Frencher, that great job of moving away from the takedown what he's doing keep on pushing the head down that is going to create space as you see hernandez is tired so he's just going to hang on the ankles the moment it breaks free you're going to watch frencher get up and throw some sort of combination frencher breaking free Boom. combination up now working with the jab to the body with 55 seconds remaining round number two hernandez trying to get back in on the shot couldn't find it frencher a faint on the level change Right hand coming right back into the inside is Hernandez. Looking for the takedown from the single. There's the far side ankle pick again. That is so slick from Hernandez. Twice now he's done that in this fight. Hernandez is doing a good job. He, he's, he's doing what he should do is milk the time away. You can tell he's tired. He's not trying to throw punches. He's trying to hang on and be a wet blanket on top of Frencher. Frencher needs to get his knees to the ground and base up and explode up with all his power that he can. What he's doing right now, it's doing great. Now he's got to turn and face, break a free, and get this fight going. Level change attempt again for Hernandez. He had a takedown. Final seconds of round number one. Trying to do that. Final seconds of round number two. This is a really good fight. That takedown after the bell. Ralph Hernandez versus Devontae Frencher as we will move to the third and final round. Look, Hernandez is doing a fantastic job of keeping that wrestling against the cage and controlling Frencher the whole time. That is what he needs to do to get this victory. He's up two rounds, in my opinion, and him controlling on the cage is everything right now. But Frencher needs to come back. He needs to sit there and realize, all right, this is what he wants to do. We're going to have to throw multiple punches, bring, move your feet, bring your knees up to try to scare uh, Hernandez to make sure he doesn't, you know, come and engage for those takedowns because as you see in the in the beginning of the first round, this is uh, Frencher with the takedown and Hernandez was being calm and stuff. But in the second round, Hernandez put him against the cage. We have to stay away from the cage if you're Frencher. Tonight's fight replays are presented by Major Pack. The third and final round is upon us. Amy, 155-pounders, Ralph Hernandez versus Devontae Frencher. It's been outstanding thus far. There's this shot, nicely defended by Hernandez. Frencher trying to take this fight to the ground. This is what Frencher needs to do is keep that punches going. Hernandez is tired. He's going to sit there and push as much as he can against the cage to milk the time away. But as long as Frencher moves his feet, it's going to be hard for 
Hernandez to plant and get the takedown secure. Looking for the single leg again is Hernandez. Twice already in this fight from this position. He's hit that far side ankle pick that's open for him right now. Right now looking for the single leg and Hernandez with some tenacity gets it. Half butterfly now for Frencher. Now opens up into the open guard. Left hands coming through from Hernandez out to the right hand trying to base up the kick away from Frencher. Right back in is Hernandez now looking to take the back. See, right there, that, that Russian helped out Frencher a lot. Hernandez is being smart. When he gets the opportunity to throw punches, he's gonna throw punches. When he gets the opportunity to rest and hang, he's resting and hanging. He's very, very smart. He's getting this done the way he needs to get it done. But Frencher, if he wants any point to win this fight, he has to keep his feet moving. He has to fight the hands, break free, and throw volume punches. He's out. Looking for this separation this is separation, Frencher, where, and he gets it with 130 remaining third and final round. See, he has to throw multiple punches, high, low, high, low. Throw with all your might, throw with all your worth. If you want to come back, your chances are finished, and that's the only way you're getting here. Near side ankle pick this time for Hernandez. Back to the inside. Hernandez doing a good job by grabbing the ankle of Frencher. That right there is preventing him from moving his hips around. Controlling the hips on the bottom guy is the best way to control him throughout the whole entire fight. Hernandez walking up the back of Devontae Frencher. Tried to get that far side, that right hook in, couldn't do it. Thinking rear naked choke, difficult from this position. Well defended by Frencher, you see blocking that near side hook coming in. Big takedown on the suplex for Ralph Hernandez. Hernandez doing a great job pushing and pulling, twisting and turning. He is sitting there wanting to win this fight. He has 100% effort into everything that he's doing, and he's doing it smart play by play. He's not trying to rush anything. More right hands. Bigger right hands now. You see referee Zach Tiber is taking a closer look, stepping in, looking at those punches. Now basing up is Ralph Hernandez. Almost a smother with the right glove into the face of Devontae Frencher. Walking up the body in the final seconds of this fight. Hernandez has really limited the time and space of Frencher on the ground. Another right hand, one more just before the bell, and that is the end of the fight. Man, what a great fight by Hernandez, you know. He controlled the clock, he controlled his opponent, he controlled the space the whole time. You can tell that he was tired coming in the second round from grappling, but it just wore on Frencher and ultimately built it up and built up the confidence. And Hernandez got the victory just by being patient, smart, and controlled. Our first bout tonight on the AMI portion of this stacked FAC 7 card to go to the judges' scorecards. Tonight's judges have been assigned by the Missouri Office of Athletics. Well fought from both Ralph Fernandez and Devontae Frencher. Hernandez showing a lot of variety, a lot of creativity, and a lot of aggression on the ground. We send it to Jason Nivens. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Henry Gary scores about 30 to 27. Judge Fernando Marquez scores about 30 to 27. And Judge Michael Munoz scores about 30 to 27. Your winner, by unanimous decision, out of the blue corner, Ralph. 27, three rounds to none across the board. And that is a win with emphasis for Ralph Fernandez. That was a beautiful game plan by his team. And it was a beautiful game plan by himself executed. Uh, you know, it was a tough fight. Frencher is a game opponent. But as you see here, regardless if Frencher took down Hernandez, he was calm, composed. And whenever he had the opportunity to take down French, Frencher, he was taking him down left and right, controlling, striking when he needed a strike. You know, this, this lift to drop was perfect. You know, that's a high-level grappling technique right there, is lifting, turning the corner. You know, he, he hung on. He he leaned, he pulled, he tripped. He did everything he could to keep an efficient takedown going, and 
French are right here. Or uh, Hernandez right here with the victory. The winner by way of unanimous decision, Ralph Hernandez defeats Devontae Frencher.